Well, today I want to talk to you a little bit about school bus safety. And have you ever noticed when you get on a school bus, there are no seatbelts? Yeah, there are no seatbelts in school buses. That's strange if you think about it. I mean, every time I get in a car, I got to buckle up. Everybody wears a seatbelt in the car nowadays. I mean, it's law. And, you know, you get on a bicycle, you wear a helmet. And even on skateboards, kids wear helmets nowadays. Wow. So what's the deal about school buses? Why no seatbelts? Why no helmets? Well, I want you to think about this. Think a little bit about Newton's law. You know the first law. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. And then there's the second law. Force equals ma, or the greater the force, the greater the acceleration. And the last law, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Okay, I'm going to do a little experiment, and then I want you to think about why no seatbelts on buses. What makes buses different than cars, bicycles, and skateboards? Be interesting. We're going to do a little experiment today, and we're going to run a car, a skateboard, and a bus down the ramp to the brick wall of science. And I want you to observe what happens and think again about those Newton's laws of motion. Should be fun. This is a little red car of science. And just to make it interesting, we're going to add Bendy Man. Watch what happens to Bendy Man as he goes down the track and then runs into the brick wall of science. Now let's see what happens when we use a skateboard. Dude. And finally, let's see what happens when we use a school bus. So now you've seen the car, the skateboard, and the school bus all run into the brick wall of science. So how are they the same, and how are they different? And then ask yourself, why do they make me wear a seat belt in a car and not in a school bus? How are they different? But then how are they the same? Think about it, and remember Newton's laws. That will help.